The Convention on the Conservation of Antarctic Marine Living Resources entered into force on the 7th of April 1982. The Convention applies to all living marine resources occurring in waters south of the Antarctic Convergence and was one of the first to apply the ecosystem and precautionary approaches. Its objective is conservation, where the term conservation includes rational use. And the way it delivers this objective is to manage harvesting and associated activities so as to prevent harmful declines in harvested populations and to maintain the ecological relationships between harvested species and the ecosystem. The Commission is supported by a secretariat, which is based in a wonderful old building in the city of Hobart in Tasmania. The building dates from 1849, only 45 years after Hobart itself was founded and it was a boys' school from then until 1965. The Camelot Secretariat has five sections dealing with science, compliance, data management, administration and communications. We maintain scientific and fisheries data on behalf of the Commission. We support Camelot's activities through the year, advise members on the required closure dates of fisheries, write papers and publish reports for the Commission. The Commission meets once a year in its headquarters in Hobart, although last year, like many organisations, it had to meet online. It is advised by committees on science, compliance and finance and administration. Camelot conducts research into the ecosystem and harvested resources of the Antarctic and maintains a 35-year time series of ecosystem indicators, such as penguin and seal populations. The Commission adopts conservation measures regulating sustainable catch and bycatch levels, spatial management including marine protected areas and the impacts of fishing activities on the environment. There are two main types of fisheries in the Antarctic, for toothfish and for krill. Toothfish is a highly prized whitefish which is long lived and is fished at low levels using bottom set long lines. Krill is a short lived euphorsid which is a keystone animal in the Antarctic ecosystem and must be managed with low catches to ensure sufficient biomass remains for its many predators. The Antarctic krill fishery currently takes about 450,000 tonnes of krill a year using pelagic trawls, less than 1% of the 60 million tonnes of krill that are in the South Atlantic sector.